was this? Oh, it sounded like someone played an instrument. And it does sound like a... <laughs> this is just the video now. What were we talking about? <laughs> no, not promoter score. So a question we'll sometimes get from a race director is they'll be on the race, they'll click race info, and at the bottom of the page, they'll find this race participant survey. And it's got a question here. Did you participate in this race? You could say yes. Would you recommend it to a friend? You could say zero for not likely or 10 for very likely or somewhere in between. And then there's a spot for additional notes. But yeah, some race directors are curious as to what this is. And this is our net promoter scores survey. So the net promoter scores have become the standard way of evaluating your level of customer satisfaction. And this measures how likely your customers are to recommend your product or service. In this case, your race to their friends and family. So if we go to this other race I have, we could see that I've already completed the survey for this. And this is how it will appear for anyone when they've logged in and they've already done the survey. Now as the race director, you can go to your race dashboard and type in net and go to net promoter score. And we can see here the score is 100, so that's pretty good for us. We can see one person filled this out. They did participate in the race. They'd recommend it, give it a 10. And they've got an additional note here. So that's where you can find the survey results. If you want to get rid of that survey, then you can just go to race, race website, miscellaneous settings, and then hide participant survey. Save the changes. And now when we view the website, go to race info, it's no longer here.